All right, yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Flipparts, and welcome to another Call of Duty Vanguard video, where today we'll be taking a look at what happens when you guys reach the max level of all operators in the same unit. And in this case, for today's video, it's going to be the Sentinels unit that we're going to be taking a look at, along with what types of rewards you guys obtain for it, and of course, how to actually achieve this progression. But just before we hop into the video, if you guys could drop that early like for me on this video, that'd be absolutely great, as it helps out the video, it helps out the channel, and does amazing stuff with that whole YouTube algorithm and whatnot. But what it mostly does is it let me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I upload here on the channel. So while you guys are down there, maybe leave a comment as well and throw some feedback. Let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see uploaded here on the channel for a future video for Call of Duty, Vanguard, and more. And of course, Warzone as well. And I'll feature your comment in those videos in the future if we end up doing that topic. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Now, if you guys have been paying attention to your operators, leveling them up and the units they belong to, you may have noticed that in the challenges section of any operator next to the challenge details, you'll see the name of the operator's unit alongside the word mastery as another set of challenges to complete. So in the case of today's video, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to be taking a look at the Sentinels unit for today. And you can see that below it, it says reach the max level with all operators in the Sentinels unit. And to complete this, you need to reach the max level with all three operators within the same unit. So you are going to need to reach the max level with Arthur, Constance, and Padmavati. So when you guys actually complete that, you guys will gain 5,000 XP towards leveling, of course. And then below that, we have the Mastery Rewards, which shows you guys will obtain a title or a player title, which says Gladiator in this case, and then a skin for your operator that you're specifically viewing. And it's going to be different with the name for whichever operator you guys are viewing. So during your matches, though, when you guys have gained enough XP for your last operator to reach the max level, you should be able to see all the rewards pop up at the top of your screen, as it does here in the gameplay for today's video and in this match here. And so once that match is over, we can actually head back to the main screen. And then you can see we'll head over to the operators tab and you'll see that all three of the operators that we're looking at today are maxed out at level 20. And then we're gonna go ahead and view Arthur's section here. And then you guys can see that all of the progression is completed and maxed out. And now the Sentinels mastery section has actually changed where there's a new challenge set there now, which says to reach the max level with all of the operators in four units with a reward of 7500 XP towards your regular leveling and then a mastery reward of the worldwide title or your player title is what it would be called and then an accompanying skin for whatever operator that you guys are viewing it so in this case for Arthur his mastery skin is actually going to be called the Bretonum and then if we actually move over to Constance you guys can see her sentinel mastery has also changed as well with a different name to her mastery reward skin for hers it's going to be called the defier and then going over to Padmavati hers is also changed as well for the sentinels mastery as well and her mastery reward is now going to be called for that skin it's going to be called queen cobra so now heading over to their customization section for our operators you guys can see here for arthur through his level progression we've unlocked both his crash lander and his extractor skins as the rewards and then for reaching the max level of all the operators in this unit as of course for today's video we've unlocked the jump master skin which has that black outfit with the gold accents just like the previous videos we made for the operator masteries and unlocking that for the hellhound unit in the Barbarians unit as well. And of course, we can't forget the other two that are in this Operator's unit as well. So we can head over now to Constance customization. You guys can see through her progressions, we did unlock the Artisan and the Manifesto skins from those progression rewards. And then for reaching the max level for all the Operators in this unit, we unlock the Evader skin for Constance. And then going over and finally, for last but not least, Padma Fati's customizations, we can see that we've unlocked her Blue Swan and the War Chariot skins through her rewards for level progression. And then reaching the max level for all the Operators operators in her unit just like the other two we've unlocked the dominion skin for her to use again with that same black outfit with the gold accents now aside from the skin customization as your rewards which are obviously very awesome we do also unlock one more thing which is a very minor thing but maybe a big or small deal depending on whether you guys really want it or not or care about it it is the player title or the title reward which if you guys remember was called gladiator so now heading over to the barracks we can head over to customization and then scroll down to the player titles and here you're gonna be able to see we have a bunch of player titles that we've already unlocked but here we're looking specifically for the gladiators which is the one that we unlocked for the mastery reward initially before it changed into the new mastery reward so when this is equipped it's just gonna have that little player title pasted on the bottom left corner of your calling card and it's nothing too special but it's a nice little addition to adding a little bit more flair I guess you could say to your overall player card and for now for the sake of this video I will go ahead and equip the gladiator player title again for this video and now whether you guys 
guys were paying attention or not, you may have noticed earlier in the video when we were actually looking through our operator skins that the final mastery skin for the masteries of the world title and all that stuff, they were actually already unlocked for our operators to use. And that's actually just a minor glitch in the game right now. It's probably going to be patched sometime in the future, but because it's technically unlocked right now, there isn't actually any harm for you guys to be putting it on since it's basically given to you guys for free, even though you guys didn't really fully unlock it. But do not be surprised if in a future update, it does become locked again, which means you're actually going to have to go ahead and grind out and go ahead and max out all of your operators in the remaining units that you haven't finished so far so that you guys can actually unlock every single of the actual mastery skins. And so with that said, that's everything you need to know about what happens when you max out all of the operators of the same unit. And of course, in this case, being the operators of Arthur, Constance, and Padmavati of the Sentinels units, along with also unlocking the exclusive and secret skins and the player titles that can only be obtained through the progression. And of course, with that said as well, be on the lookout here on the channel when I manage to max out every operator in every unit in the game, and I unlock the next unit mastery and the mastery rewards after that, which should be finishing up on the last unit we currently have here in the game for me anyway it's going to be the shadow unit which should be uploaded actually pretty shortly after this video because if you guys are looking at all the levels of all of my operators there's only a little bit more that i have to do for one of the operators and then i'm pretty much done and those videos will be uploaded here to the channel and if you guys would like to watch me grind the game live i'll be streaming over on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash flip arts live the link is down description below it's always been there but i'm usually live between 9 a.m eastern or 9 p.m eastern so be sure to drop a follow with notifications on so you don't miss out when i stream next and who knows, maybe I'm actually live right now as when you guys are watching this video. But that's kind of about wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out or maybe even both, consider dropping that like for me on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button. The way you guys don't miss out when I upload a new Call of Duty Vanguard video here to the channel. And for all my social media links like Twitter, Twitch, Discord, and more, all of that link down description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Arts out.